Hello, my name's Phil Earle. I'm the author of several books uh, for young adults and children, and I'm here today with Scottish Book Trust to talk to you about dialogue, something that can often be ignored or overlooked in your creative writing. And the point I want to get across to you today is that writing effective dialogue can add so many layers to your work and can make your story more exciting, more gripping, more realistic. So here you go. These are my top five tips for writing cracking dialogue. Tip one is don't wear your headphones on the bus. That might sound like a ridiculous statement. It might leave you thinking, what's that possibly got to do with writing great dialogue? But when you're writing, you want your dialogue to seem realistic, to seem authentic. And there's no greater way of learning that craft than by listening to conversations that are going on around you in your everyday life. So the next time you're on the bus, the next time you're in a cafe, the next time you're walking down the street, try and tune in to the different ways that people speak. Some people speak in short staccato sentences. Some people speak in sentences so long it seems like they don't draw breath for two minutes. Listen to the way people around you talk and allow that to influence the sort of dialogue you write yourself. Tip number two is to watch as much great TV as you can. Now that might sound like a really random statement and when people talk about learning to become a good writer, they'll often talk about reading as many great books as you can, that you will learn about how to write great dialogue just through reading other books that use it successfully. And that's true. But for me, uh, as someone who grew up as a reluctant reader, um, books didn't hold me. And as a result, I didn't learn about dialogue through reading them. The way I learned about dialogue was from watching great films, from watching good TV, from immersing myself in theatre. When you go to the theatre, when you watch a film, when you watch TV, what you're seeing time and again is actors telling you a story really just through one medium, just from using dialogue by characters talking to each other. And I learned such a lot by watching these amazing films or watching great TV, the stuff that's on Netflix at the moment, the stuff that's coming out of HBO. These are script writers at the top of their game who can tell you someone's life story simply through the medium of dialogue. So surround yourself with much of it as you can because that will improve your dialogue no end. Tip number three is to act it out. Now it's really important that at whatever stage of your writing process you're at, whether first draft, second draft, third draft, copy edit, wherever you are in terms of writing a story, is that I would really encourage you to read your work out aloud. Now that might sound a little bit daft, but remember if you're writing, generally it's you on your own with a laptop or a pen and a piece of paper, nobody can see you, nobody can hear you. So if you've got a piece of dialogue that you want to get a really strong sense of whether it's working or not, read it. Read it out loud, record it even so you can hear it back. Have you got the rhythms right? Are you being consistent with how this character speaks all the way through the book? All the words that you use in the right words. It can be an incredibly potent way of getting really effective dialogue. Tip number four is a simple one. Is that don't try and be down with the kids. There's a real temptation, especially when you write for young people, that you want to mirror or ape the way they speak. Yet there's a real danger to doing that. Sometimes uh, slang or dialects can be really sort of time sensitive and the way people speak now won't be the same way they'll speak in, in two months or three months or four months. So try and be natural, be really true to your characters, yet don't necessarily try and ape slang. And finally, tip five, which is a simple one, but it's show, don't tell. This relates to some brilliant advice I was once given by an editor, some of the best advice I've ever had with writing, is that when you start to write, especially at the start of your career, you want to impress everyone with the quality and the beauty of your prose. But sometimes you have to step back from that vanity and say, I'm not going to let the prose do the work. I'm going to let the dialogue do the work. So if you have a pivotal moment in your story, don't use prose to show what's going on. I would really encourage you to try and tell those pivotal moments through dialogue. There are loads of examples, there are examples in every single book that you could read. Um, when I was writing Heroic, this is a book about brotherhood, it's about two brothers, and I knew that in every scene, every pivotal scene between those two brothers, I wanted to tell it time and again through dialogue. So in the end it happens exactly in that way, on the top of a, a 30 storey tower block, and it's dark and there's a helicopter zooming overhead. And of course through the prose I'm describing those factors, but the rest of the scene is told almost entirely through dialogue, because it is so much more effective to see that scene develop through two people speaking to each other, rather than just through my flowery prose. Give it a try, it can work really effectively for you.